Hello. Um, so this is a dead end. How the heck do I get out of here? What? Um, I don't know where I'm walking now, but there's a fence in front of me. Um, hello and welcome to Team B. Um, so the campaign, this uh, last campaign um, of my time as Team B leader, and indeed the last. Um, Sorry, I have no idea. It says pedestrian route, but I can't. There's a, there's a gate over there. I'm going to work out how to get out of this place first, but I'll come back and talk to you. Hello, welcome to Team B. Um, we're currently on the last campaign, both for me as a Team B leader this year, and indeed for Team B um, as a whole, as, as you're probably aware, it's sadly ending this year. Um, which is very very sad. So the last campaign is called Swing the Vote and it's aimed basically to get more young people involved in political, uh, get more involved in politics but also get them to vote. Um, I haven't done much for this campaign because it coincides with the, very, the crunch time of my academic year as a, as a, a computer science student at Newcastle so um, I basically done very little for the time to um, as you know it's most of my own because my volunteers similarly it's a interesting situation but today is election day um, it's the 7th of May 2015 and today is uh, the day people vote for the new politicians to run a country I assume that's how things work um, <laughs> um, so I'm going to go vote now for the first time in my life um, I just have to find out where voting station is first um, and once I manage to figure that out I can vote. Exciting. Um, I'm actually not voting for any of the parties. I'm actually going to go small on my paper because personally I have no faith um, in any of the parties. I don't relate to any of them but this is the thing I didn't realise before my training day is that um, if you spoil your paper, it still counts, and it counts as a vote of like literally no confidence in the party. So you still get your voice heard, but people know. I've just come around this whole circle, haven't I? Um, but then people know that it gets counted as a vote of no confidence. So you basically you're still getting your voice heard. Whilst if I didn't vote at all, um, if I didn't go register vote, then I wouldn't. My voice wouldn't be heard at all, so I wouldn't count. Um, so that's what I'm going to do now. Uh, I just have to go and figure out uh, where this place is. So I'll see you once I figure that out. I'm gonna have to get my phone out and go. Uh -huh. This looks like this place. So I just voted. The pencils were really thick, which is annoying because I've got scrappy, so my writing is terrible enough with normal writing implements, but with a thick pencil, my witty comments that I use to spot paper would be completely wasted. Um, as part of this campaign, apparently we need to take uh, uh, voting selfies to commemorate the fact that we voted. Now, I can't stand the concept of selfies personally, however, the prize for the best selfies have some sort of vlogging training session. Um, I mean, I vlog, um, so that could be fun and particularly interesting, so with that in mind. So now I'm going to stalk outside this polling station for a while. I have this placard which says I voted, or alternatively, um, I am voting on the back. Um, so I'm going to go around, get as many people as I can to basically hold us up and say I voted, make some sort of montage, um, and then I'm going to speak to them a bit about what they think as young people matters to them most in terms of politics and stuff. Yeah. We voted. I voted. I, I voted. We, we voted. voted. I voted. We, we voted. voted. I voted. I voted. We, we voted. voted. I voted. I voted. Well, the thing that's most important to me is a stable future for our country and um, looking ahead to the future for the next five years. The thing most important to me are moral and ethical issues, um, like in general, um, because, you know, those are issues close to my heart. But at the moment, whilst voting, it's more important to vote for economic policies so that the country um, can improve and get better before you can actually improve on other issues. I think it's just Im important to vote because if you don't vote, you can't. You don't have like a right to complain about what's happening in government because you haven't like given your opinion. So I think it's just really important that everyone votes. And it doesn't matter what you vote for, it's like it's just your opinion. It's, it's a good thing to do. 
the politicians <laughs> delivering on what they say? I'd say uh, tuition fees. I think that they're way too much at the moment, and it makes it difficult for people to go to university. Probably education. Um, because I want to teach when I'm older, so I want a good education for my students, and I want an education for myself and my family. You. Um, probably say issues to do with education. So my mum's a teacher and I'm in education, so anything to do with that has a pretty immediate effect on my life. Um, outside of that, healthcare, the NHS, welfare, those are things that speak to me, I suppose. The thought of going out into a career, I'd like to know that there's both a support network there for me with my health and if I'm like out of work or struggling at any point. So, health, education and welfare. Um. That things are prioritised at the NHS. Yeah, healthcare. Yeah. Um, education. And um, yeah, and how taxes are done, sort of thing. Um, I guess in the past five years, I haven't really agreed with how things have been done and how things have been going. Right. So I'm going for today, and that was my last ever Team B campaign, um, which is rather sad because it's not. I'm not going to be needing TV next year. I'm probably going to do a proper farewell video once I've had time to think about it, one this end, you know, do justice. But yeah, um, it's a pity it wasn't a more extravagant end to what effectively was my two year Team B career, both as a volunteer of Team B Bradford and then as a leader of Team B Newcastle. Um, like, but I mean, it was fun, it was good. I, I, I experienced it was really good and I enjoyed every bit of it and the opportunity I got was immense. So I'm very grateful for that and I'm very glad I was part of it. Um, but yeah, and so that's me done. Um, and I will see you guys another time. I've just realised I'll probably walk down a dead end because this, these are, these are people's houses. This is not the way out, um, nor is it the way home. I will see you guys later, assuming I actually get out of this place.